Good morning and welcome back to some more subsistence where today we're looking for that elusive locked crate that I lost yesterday and uh, hopefully we can find it. Hopefully it is, even has some of the stuff we need in it. I'm either hoping for sinew so we can make some the animal housing or I'm hoping for padded cloth because we need quite a lot of that and then I can make my helmet and I feel a lot safer around these parts. Uh, let's turn that off because it is now daylight. Uh, we've got a little bit of woods and yeah a lot of my food is going rotten but that is perfectly fine. We're up to 11. Um, I can't eat that one. That one's probably going to go rotten on me next. Uh, let's put that away and I need one more no, I had some wood on me. Yes, that's that's right. It's fine. So we want to build two things. One is a fish trap, and two and three actually is some walls. And I'm thinking a curved window wall. It requires five. Damn. And then a normal window wall. So I need another plank, which is fine. We've got plenty of wood. I've done a little bit of wood collecting through the night. Uh, this is currently grinding down as much iron as we can until we need other stuff, basically. Um, with the generators on for the moment, and in fact, I'll probably top that up a little bit more so that we can keep it going a little bit longer. There we go, and. No. Okay, come out of there, back into our inventory. Let's see if we can place this and see what it looks like here. So, I mean, I can see out. I can see some iron in that, just there. That's not too bad. It could be worse. And then windowed wall. Ah, I need two more nails, which is fine. I have a couple spare. Not much spare, but a couple. And then I need four of those, we're going to place that next. But I want to protect this side of, well give me somewhere to hide when the hunters attack. So I'm going to put another wall piece here, and at least I can stand here, hide and maybe over there and hide for now, until we get that padded cloth and a helmet sorted. But yeah, that is the, the, the basics of defense for the moment. There we go. Sorted. Basics of defense. I think that's probably going to be the title of this video. But the basics of today is get these iron and zinc and then find a locked crate. Because with that locked crate, with any luck, we will progress the game quite a bit. Quite a bit faster. So if nothing else, we get some nails and that means we can build a bit more. I actually do like that design. A little, you know, porch area. I so wish there could be a curved door. That would be nice. But not yet, sadly. So let's go check the foresty area, the, the, or the forest, and see if we can find a lot of crates. And uh, see what else we can find. I think it's mainly nails we need. If we can get some a good chunk of nails, we'll be able to get most of our base finished, or we'll get a lot closer to finishing it. Because nails is the one thing that's slowing us down. And uh, bunny rabbits also slow us down, but for good reasons, because they give us cloth. And we're going to need insane amounts of cloth before long. As a bear, actually is. I think that was rogues because I think that campfire's gone. And that campfire's still there. That campfire's gone. So Bravo have yet to be found, as far as I'm aware. So we've got to keep an eye out for Bravo. They could be anywhere. They could be literally just below Alpha. I don't really go that that direction. So we might not actually find them until we explore down there. 
but I might actually wait to well I'm definitely not exploring down there on the purpose of not upsetting Alpha and obviously not running into Bravo or any other hunter bases that appear down there and that way I can't die basically so it's kind of, I'm waiting, once I've got the helmet then I'm not going to be as scared I'd say might still be a little bit scared but we shall see, there is a building crate so that's a good find Yeah, it's, if we don't find Bravo and they just keep attacking us, then so be it. Uh, there was actually a bear over that hill. I heard him growl. Yeah, the one thing about this area is the amount of trees and long grass. You can't quite see lock crates in it so well. Which kind of sucks. Well, that's why I don't really like coming here to try and find lock crates. So I might head a bit north and see if I can find. Them. Oh crap! Apparently, we upset a bear. That was obviously his favourite scratching post tree. And now, wolf. Um. I'm still keeping my eyes out for lock crates, but I think we're safe. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to head north. Um, definitely heading north. And I'm going to kill and butcher you. Ah, oh, we didn't actually put the... Oh wait, you're still following me, damn it! <laughs> I thought he was, um, or had stopped, but no. I think we might have lost him now. Yeah, he's over there now. Fine. That could have been so, so bad. Okay, can I place that there? Closing a little bit, but there we go. And I think I will put all this away. And put that in there. Drink that. Eat those. We're up to nine nails again. And I cook cook that so we got some meat for the journey. That can go in there. They go in there. Whoops. 21 is what I like. Three extra magazines, basically. Okay, we're up to 15, and power is steady. So, yeah, we'll keep that going for a little bit. We'll probably come back and find that there's no power at all, but hey. And how are you doing? You need some water, I would say. And that little bit there. Almost perfect. Cool. Cooked. Take it with us. Let's roll. So, probably going to head towards Autastic because I know that there is a lock crate spawn point there and then head across to the river and the arch rock where they normally spawn as well. Hopefully we find something along the way but that's where I'm planning on searching. Yeah, 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 bear. I don't care. Oh, Dabble Bear. I don't think either of them are chasing me. But it has stopped me going my direct routes. Ooh. Speaking of Autastic, this rock seems to be Autastic at the moment. And yeah, nothing.
think they're chasing us. Didn't think they would be. We'd run far enough away, I'd say. And right, where are we? We're going there, so we're basically heading directly north from this point. Or as directly north as we can manage. With things distracting us, like six log trees. Yeah, six log trees are definitely a distraction. Because they give us six wood. And a grub. And the grub is handy because it's going to give us, well, fish and tackle. I haven't fished for a little while. I probably should. But then again, I've got nowhere to store all of it, so I kind of want to wait till I get a fridge before I do a massive fishing run. So if I spend an entire day fishing and then get loads and loads of fish, um, steaks and stuff, then I'll be able to make the fish pies relatively easier. Or just make them in general. So, over here is where we need to check for lock crates. See a building crate. That's a good start. Check down here. No. Okay. There is a few other places and it's quite varied where we might find it. There's another crate. And an ammo crate just ahead of that. Well, it's definitely a good spot for crates. So, I think that was the rock that we built the base on. Let's just check down in the valley. There's an ammo crate down there. It can spawn on the far side as well, but... Predominantly, it spawns over in this area. Generally, under trees again. And then, let's just double check over here from a different angle, see what we can find. There's an ammo crate that I found. Very well hidden and tucked away. With an arrow in. Saves me making another one. No, I don't think we're going to get lucky here by the looks of things. There will be a chicken. Let's just check in and around these. No. Fine, we'll get that ammo crate and then... Head off, I'd say. Head to Autastic, clear that out and... Ah, bunny rabbit. Fine, I don't care about bunny rabbit. Not right now, anyway. Hey, shotgun shell. In fact, gonna load the shotgun with that. Take okay, a quick look here. There's a wolf. But no, nothing here. Fine. Yeah, check Autastic. And then we'll go check the other sites that I wanted to check to see if we can find anything there. And if we don't get any luck there, we can always head back to the forest by our base and check out see what is there ah I thought that bunny rabbit was further away than it was but again we don't need it so it's fine there's another bunny rabbit you know what they're teasing me like crazy so screw you oh wait I see another ammo crate the game is giving me ammo crates today like I need them. Hmm, maybe the game is saying something. Maybe we're under attack fairly shortly. Possibly. 
Or maybe it's just Day of the Ammo Crates. Either way, I'm happy because I'm getting ammo. Right, let's check Autastic. Let's get the pickaxe out. Get the right tool for the job out. And see how lucky we get with Autastic today. I'm already thinking this is a good run because I can see this one. There's another one to my left. There's another two. Ooh, and it's iron ore as well. Which is fine because I love iron ore. Because you need so much of it. It's everything requires iron ore. There's a bit of copper as well. And some more iron ore. Double more iron ore. <laughs> Double more iron ore. It's a bit of a tongue twister. Also, it's not very good English, so... Let's not tell Queenie. Oh, this is potassium. Ah, well, fine. It's actually quite hard to tell because it was so. The sun was on it so much. This is iron. Oh, hello, Mr. Wolfie. Yeah, you can keep that section of the rock all to yourself because there was nothing there. Ah, uh, sort of blueberry. There it is. Okay, let's go check by the arch rock and see if we can find a lock crate over there. And how much ore did we get? Got four, 14, only 14. Ah, so some of that was actually potassium, I didn't realize. Fine, and we'll butcher that. And yeah, let's carry on. Let us carry on. We've got a bit more stamina. One more stamina means we might actually be able to outrun things should we ever need to. Um, which we do need to quite often, so that's good. Oh, I hear some growling. Over there. If I'm going to run this way. Pretty sure I got this six log tree. Yep. Yeah. We're actually getting some good crate loot today. Or a good amount of crates, should I say. Cotton seeds. Loving it. If we don't get a locked crate, at least we get a cotton seed from today. I was just thinking, literally just thinking, I wonder if we're going to find any more cotton today. Uh, no, not so far, but we ha have found a seed. Which is technically better because it gives us more cotton in the end. It's just we have to wait for it to grow. But I'd rather take the three cotton because that makes one padded cloth than one cloth than one cotton that you find and not be able to do anything with that. So there are benefits and bonuses. And uh I mean, if you got if you find three over the course of several years, because <laughs> that's probably how long it will take you to get three, then it's not so bad. But I'd rather have the instant use of them. Okay, we can't jump across the rocks by the looks of things because of Mr. Barrow. Although, technically, if you have a seed and then you find one, you can make two cloth, which makes a bandage. So, again, benefits. There is an ammo crate by that bear, but I think we'll pass on that one. I'm going to get this crate instead. Look at that. It's as if I planned that. Not much in it, but hey. I'll take whatever I can get. Because if nothing else, I can throw it in the mass recycler. When we have one. 
Okay, so this is not the arch rock. I thought it was. <laughs> but it's still good enough. Let's see what we get. Three sinew. 18 iron fragments is very good. Um, was it six and seven? That's 13 nails. Two more of those. Lots of cordage. Some planks. Enough weapon parts to make the magnum now. Awesome. I'm very happy with that one actually because we can get the magnum. We can potentially go after cougars and mooses now. That I like. That I like a lot. And, well, we might as well head home with all of our goodies. And the next thing is, um, no, we don't have enough, I was going to say, do we have enough sinew to make animal housing? I think we've got five, hey, look at that. One cotton. I think we've got five back at home. And with five, we can... We might be able to do it, actually, because I think we need two for the helmet. And then potentially we can make an animal housing. Hmm. That could be useful. Anyone fancy some level-up chickens and level-up rabbits? No, that's a wolf. Yeah, he's growling at me. He's actually chasing me. The arse. I was going to get some more wood. That's not going to happen right now, is it? I didn't chase for very long, the lazy oaf. Ah, well... Yeah, well, let's just get home, cut down a few more trees on the way home, and see what we can do with everything we've got. We've got 21 nails, plus f we can build a few more walls, or maybe a few more ceiling pieces to give us the actual layout of the base a bit more. I think that might be useful. same time we don't need extra floor space at the moment we probably should use the 12 nails to make the animal housing or 12 of the nails that we've got to use the animal housing if we can make it with the sinew that we've got that is with leaving in us enough sinew for a helmet speaking of let's check whilst we're in that is three. Damn, so that would leave us two, so we need one extra sinew from somewhere. So... Maybe not. Maybe we're not going after animal housing just yet. Maybe... Maybe we just build a... Um... I want to say refinery, not a refinery, a mass recycler, that's the words. I'm looking for the words, multiple. Yeah, mass recycler. Let's see if we can make one of those, because I don't think we can make a animal housing. Although I would prefer an animal housing, but you know, you can't only take, you can only take what you can make. Hmm. Can I get this without a hitting? Yes. Yeah, let's get the tree. I'm going to turn around because there's a wolf right behind me. Yep, yeah, that's time to perfection. There's a run in. Haha, -ha, screw you, Wolfie. I win. You're still lit. Why are you growling still? 
because there's gaps in the because <laughs> there's gaps in there. He's growling. Lovely. Um, right, we need to make one of those. I've got another rabbit. Cool. And then we can put some stuff away. Seeds, food, foods. I think most of this goes in here. No, 21. It's a lucky number. Not really, but I keep thinking it is. Yeah, we're up to 8. So we'd need 9 to get what I was wanting done. That sucks. It's fine, this is nearly built. Why does that wolf not run away? Stupid wolf. I can go in there. Eat a couple of those, eat a couple of those. We'll drink some water when that's ready. And... Yeah, look at that, we got fish. Oh, come on, come on, come on! So annoying getting out of water. And you know what, we're gonna harvest you for oil. Put you in there, just because we might as well. And I'm thinking we turn the generator back on because we are using our precious power. I mean, we've got 56 iron. Actually, we didn't need to put that in there because there's quite a lot in there. Uh, we're going to keep grinding that down because why not? We might as well because I'm going to need a bunch of it in time. And we might as well grind as much as we can now for later on. Did I put... Did I not make... I guess I didn't make the fuel brick. No. Fine. Totally fine. Um, what we can make is... Should we, yeah, we've got the power. Let's make a recycler. So we need six planks, eight and nine. Oh, we need a thousand power. Um... Mass fabricator. Don't really need it. You're not making that anytime soon. Mm. No, I think. Hundred and fifty mass, which we need the mass recycler or fabricator for. But I could make a solar panel, as long as I had... I do have enough pearls. So, do we... I think we go for the mass fabricator then. Yeah. Mass fabricator, so that we can look at getting a... What do you call it? A solar panel. That would be really handy, actually. Uh, right, so we need planks for it. How many planks? Eight. A lot. That's eight. And then what else? Seven of those, ten scrap. Ten scrap, seven of those. So I'm going to make a bunch more of those so we can make some more walls. Yeah, and I've got those made up, but we'll keep those as spares just in case we need them for any reason. I think I'll make a cloth as well. Stick those in there. In fact, let's just take those out now so that I can get the thing made quicker. 
Yeah. And what campfires we see? So this campfire is still here. Doesn't mean it's not a road camp. So they do stay for a couple of nights. Alpha is back there. And I'm not seeing anything else on the known map. But there is a lot of unknown map that we need to explore at some points. But for the moment, can we make, I think we can. Yeah, there we go, that's that made. Now it's just the walls, which I might. You see, we don't need anything here. Oh, hello, shadow. Dance to the shadow, dance to the shadow. Um, I probably will put a wall here at some point and something here. But at the same time, we're not really needing this edge to have walls at the moment because no enemies are coming in that way. Um, I'm going to probably make this, fill in this gap here and then start working on these two bits here. And that gives us the full foundation of what I can build on until we have enough nails to extend this out a little bit. That's probably what I'm going to do. Probably, possibly, maybe. And then we kind of need to make the, third, the ceiling, the roofing. And... With that, I'll probably make a hatch, a ladder hatch, yeah, ladder hatch. I mean, we've got all the resources apart from the metal ingot because we can't make them currently because we don't have a, what you call it, workbench. But we'll get that in time, it's just we don't need it right now. I'm going to put a couple of more of those in there, actually. So we can get some tomatoes growing. And do we have... We do have a couple of those. Cool. I might like pick up six. Because that gives us, I think, three ceilings that we can make. And two so far. Yeah, it's going to be a third one. Perfect third one. Um, just going to take us a few minutes to put those in. Um... But anyway, whilst we're making that and filling in the holes, I'm going to say goodbye for now. And in the next video, I might go check out to see whether the... Um, ooh, campfire. That's going to be rogues. No, it might not be, actually. Well, I'm going to check out that campfire. This campfire has disappeared, so it probably was rogues. And then that campfire has appeared. Interesting. So there's a couple more campfires to check out. Again, they're probably rogues, but I am expecting Bravo to appear at some point. And hopefully in the next video or two, we have enough cotton to make a helmet so we can actually go raid a hunter base. But for now, I'm going to place this... Um, I'm going to place it downstairs. I kind of want to put, probably make this bit my resource area in time but at the moment I can't really do that because I've got no walls to protect it all so I'm gonna stick it here but then I, once I've got this area up and running I will have a bit more space up here to place stuff around so there is that as well but anyway uh, yeah, we have got a ceiling piece ready there we go and done. Yeah, I'm wondering if we can... do something with the stairs to make them fit a bit easier. I mean, normally they're snug to here and at the base there. We'll take a look at that in the next video, I'd say. But for the moment, let's place this one and then later make the last one so yeah i shall see you in the next video i hope you enjoyed this video if you did remember to like leave a comment and hit the subscribe button but until next time have fun and enjoy the rest of your day